Spectrum friends. Welcome to Spectrum Art. My name is Maddie. If you are new here, please click on the description box down below so you can get to know a little bit more about us. Uh, Joe's school, by the way. Yes, and typically I say us because it's myself, Maddie, and Madison, uh, but she is doing what again? School. Yes, she is. She's doing schoolwork. So really quick, I'm going to go ahead and hop on here and tell you uh, what we're going to be working on and what you're going to need. So by the time Madison is done with school, we can start working on it together. So we are continuing on our craft paper recyclable, um, I guess, envelopes, uh, ephemera, pockets, whatever you want to call them. But we had done the first video. And on that first video, we shared with you that we actually got some um, grocery bags, craft paper, of course, right? Um, or butcher paper, whatever you want to call it, um, from the grocery store. Sometimes, yes, we forget our um, reusable bags in the car. And then I don't feel like going all the way back out. So we get paper bags, but um, it happens. So if you happen to have some of those, uh, and, or if you happen to have some lunch bags uh, at home or maybe some recycled paper from packaging because they package it also in craft paper sometimes, this is a great time to use those. So we had done our first video. This is the second one showing you some ideas of what else you can do with those grocery bags. So today we're gonna be working on these and we're gonna need very um, minimal supplies to do this project. So it should be a, um, a fairly uh, accessible one for everyone to do. Let me tell you what we're going to need. We're going to need, like I said, some recycled uh, grocery bags, distress inks, some napkins. Um, we're going to need some glue sticks. Um, what else? Perhaps some glue. We might need that. And then uh, we are going to uh, do a little bit of an embellishment with the paper clip for the closure. And for that, we are going to use uh, paper clips. I'm using large ones, of course. And we're also going to use uh, some ribbon. And so this is our, um, here, let me show you. Actually, let me push that in. Um, this is our scraps of uh, ribbon. Most of these are actually, uh, here's a cute story, from Madison's uh, leftovers from when she was a baby. When she was a baby, I used to put her yeah, I used to put her hair up on pigtails and, um, you know, whatever was left over in the spool, I just went ahead and pulled off of that spool and uh, threw it in this box. So she used to look so cute with her pigtails. Okay, ah, reminiscing, reminiscing from when they're babies. But, um, so that's what these are right here. So we're gonna need some ribbons. Uh, we're going to need a hot glue gun for that. And we're gonna need some kind of a dangle. Now here's another cool thing. This is actually a piece of jewelry from Paparazzi. I'm going to link in the description box my source. Um, so you can go check that out and check out her channel and her sales. But uh, this is a piece that I got. And, and look at this. I mean, look how beautiful this is. Let me see if I can get this to focus. Look at that. $5. And I got all of these medallions dangling from it. So if you go to your box store, your craft store, and you buy a pack of, you know, just four or five um, little charms, it'll cost you four or five dollars, right? Well, I got this whole thing for five dollars. And I not only have all of these charms, but I have these pieces right here that I can use on mixed media. And I have the earrings, which by the way, the earrings I'm just going to wear because they're adorable. I'm just going to keep those the way they are. I'm not going to take those apart, but I could if I wanted to, right? Just close that little loop and uh, it'll actually be a dangle all by itself. But I'm going to keep those because they're too pretty. So we're going to be using these um, to actually make uh, some charms. And so you'll need some pliers as well, right? To open up your, um, your charm bits or your jump rings. All right. I think that's it. That's all that I can think of. If we um, find out that we need more stuff along the way, I'm sure we'll point it out or you'll see it. But other than that, I'm going to clean up here, uh, make sure Madison finishes that lesson, and we will get to crafting.
Now that we are done collaging our papers, uh, the napkins, the music paper, you guys saw the stuff that we used, the map, um, I wanted to point out that we intentionally left this open and I had pointed that out in the original, the first video, excuse me, um, because see how easy it is to go in there and be able to now see exactly where it is that you want to cut and cut out any of that uh, overlapping or overage of paper and get a nice clean edge as opposed to being struggling this way. Um, and the other reason is, say for example, this one, right? If you wanted to uh, do a magnet, it's as simple as being able to um, put your magnets down and then um, of course cover it with a small piece of paper, but all that can be done so easily when this is open. If you wanted to do a brad closure, if you wanted to do an eyelet, anything that you want to do, it's open now, so you can. Plus, um, once again, 
like I mentioned in the first video, super easy to go in and distress all of this, which is what we're going to be doing next while it is open. So just that quick tip, uh, if you're working with paper, if you're working with, uh, you know, your bags, uh, always a good tip to leave those open while you're still working with them to give you that ease of being able to access corners and areas and clean up any um, overages of paper or anything else that you might need to do before you actually either glue it in, sew it in, uh, whatever technique you want to use to close your envelopes or pack pockets.
and here are the completed envelopes. As you can tell, we went ahead and added uh, some images which we did not have in the beginning, yeah. but after Madison looked at them, she said they need an image. image. So image hunting we went. And they turn out super cute, right, with the paper clip. Uh, some of these, of course, we have actually sewn shut. Um, we can see that, and you I can like see the, our... I think that the clips are interesting. Yes, yes, that was really good picks on the uh, on the uh, ribbons, Madison. Thank you. They match mm -hmm. wonderfully. Uh, and I'll do a close-up shot for you guys, but here's another way to go ahead and recycle some of those paper bags uh, or craft paper that you have. I did want to show you that um, all those I closed, I left this one intentionally open because I figured that if you were going to glue this down into a journal, let's say that this is your journal page, uh, and you just wanted to hear it on the three sides, of course, this would now become a pocket here in the back. Um, I have something yes I do right if we glue it down on the three sides this will become a pocket this way oops let me move up it'll become a pocket that way as well as you can just remove the paper clip and now that it's here on three sides it could become a journaling spot right now you can journal on all of this uh, and close it back up or if you want to go ahead and um, you know stitch them up then you can still glue them onto your journal, still have a pocket in the back, remove the paper clip because this side would not be glued and have a pocket, correct? So different options. Um, also, when it comes to the placement of your um, images, if you are going to use images, just keep that in mind that obviously you'll have to shift the paper clip kind of like what we did here, which still looks totally adorable off center. Um, Obviously, we can't put it here in the middle because then we would put, you know, the charm right over her face. And not that that's a horrendous thing, but eh, not necessarily. Actually, looks like a monocle. That's pretty funny. <laughs> that just kind of worked out. But, um, but you know, you can move it off to the side, either side if you'd like. Uh, it might even be cute to find an image where this would almost look like, you know, uh, an earring or something. So you could get really creative with these. Hope you like them. Hope you try them. Hope you think they're awesome yes uh and and let us know and if you do try and please be sure to give us a shout out uh we will continue to try and bring you more on this series and give you some more ideas on what to do with those supermarket um paper bags thanks so much for watching you guys have a blessed day and we will see you soon bye bye